What's up everybody? It's the Sheriff here of Freak Out Fishing and as you can tell uh, not really the best fishing right now <clears throat> uh, but for you today we're gonna feed some fish so if you guys just hang out I uh, got a nice big one to show you and we'll see if the bass likes it so let's feed some fish You guys see that big goldfish right there in the middle? The gray one? Yeah, we're gonna see how the bass likes that. But we'll start off by throwing some of these little ones in there. Get them warmed up. And we also got some night crawlers for the bluegill right there. Yeah, he looks ready. So, I think we've only had one or two names given to us. Um, can't remember what they are off the top of my head. But we'll have to name them too. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're hungry. I'm sure you guys are aware we haven't posted anything lately. <clears throat> the weather has been horrible. I'm just getting over the cold. And I was also in Florida for a week, so I got away from this area. Got away from the cold for a little while. But while I was in Florida, if you guys follow us on Facebook and Instagram, you guys saw that I did do a little fishing while I was down there. Because we went out, <coughs> went to Disney World, and we caught, yeah, we caught a few fish down there. The boat captain down there. I don't think he wanted to go out. It was about 45 degrees. We had a cold front go through. And I guess for people down in Florida, 45 degrees is cold. And yes, we do feed him. He eats once or twice a week, which is probably more than he has to. But he likes to show off and act like we don't feed him. When he eats, you guys may notice we are down to one bass and one bluegill. And the reason for that the catfish jumped out. The catfish jumped out and I found that on the floor the next morning after it was uh, a little too late to save him. And then the other bluegill, I think the bass ran him ragged and killed him. Because I walked in here and he was just floating at the top, a little tore up not feeling too hot so yep we're down to two we still need some names guys and we got some names for the bass but we don't have any names for the bluegill yet <clears throat> like right now in Baltimore it's cold that we got ice on the lakes and the ponds, but it's not really cold enough for us to go out on the ice. I 
once I'm done feeding them, I want to show you guys how we keep the filters up. Because They got the little light on them saying we need to change the filters out or change the cartridges on the filters. But those are expensive. I want to show you guys how we get a little extra life out of them. Alright, I think it's time for the big guy. Hopefully you guys saw him just inhale that massive feeder fish. So right now, I'm just going to dump the rest of them in there. Let him eat a little more. I'm going to take these cartridges out. take you guys in the other room and show you how I uh, get a little more life out of these. Alright, so these have two parts. It's got this part for getting the large chunks and this part which separates out all the little nasty stuff. First just <coughs> rinse the big pieces off of there. There's like charcoal or something inside of this. I'm not exactly sure. And then you just go through and rinse all the crud out of it. I'm sure you guys can tell. <coughs> I'm still a little congested, still getting over that cold, so definitely not going to be getting out fishing in this weather. I want to, but I also have to stay healthy enough for work. So this is what it looks like before you rinse it off and clean it off. This is what it looks like after. So just getting that gunk off of there. It extends the life, I don't know, another month or so. We want to make sure you rinse the stuff off these large pieces also. He's back in.
all right guys I know it was a short sweet video but right now with everything going on being busy at work and how cold it is outside and it's it's cold too cold to fish open water but it's not cold enough to ice fish so that's kind of where we're stuck right now so just keep following along uh, keep subscribing keep liking keep commenting and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.